Got the new R18B here on the floor. Offered in Black Storm Metallic. This thing is sweet. Uh, blacked out engine cases as well. Uh, you get those chrome accents in there. They're just shimmering. Uh, looks really good. Awesome bike. Uh, the full fairing on the front. Let's uh, not get too excited. Get the view of that for you too. Uh, you can see there. Uh, also that square right up on top right there above the headlight. Uh, take note of that. That's gonna be the active cruise control, abbreviated ACC. That is going to be uh, an adjustable cruise that will uh, keep up with the speed of the vehicle ahead of you, making sure that you keep the proper distance. And that has three modes, three settings to be able to adjust so that uh, depending on how close you wanna ride, uh, always recommended to keep a safe distance. And be aware, get used to those things before you utilize them. You can see here we do have a nice floorboard here and then for the passenger very nice platform for their foot so uh, really high quality on this stuff the latches work great too. Uh, keep them up they're not loose nice tight action um, this bike is offered in a few other colors this is the black storm metallic it's also offered in manhattan metallic at a 500 dollars charge as well as the option 719 galaxy dust and titan silver so uh, that Titan Silver is really cool, $2,400 package. It comes with more than just color, but uh, pretty cool. So another thing right away that you can see, uh, we're gonna look at these analog displays here. You got your fuel gauge, uh, your odometer. Well, your, your, uh, your odometer is actually on the dash. Your fuel gauge, uh, mile per hour, your RPM, and then power reserve. That power reserve right here is pretty neat. Actually, it's only found on Rolls-Royce on this bike here. It shows you how much power of the bike you're using and how much available power you have left to tap into. Uh, and then 10 and a quarter inch TFT. Let's light this baby up. It's a pretty cool looker here. Um, that'll make life a ride. And then you can see that big old boxer. Uh, really cool, uh, great animation. We did keep the plastic cover on. We make sure that we only pull that off once a customer takes delivery. Uh, you can see a mile per hour gauge there as well. Air temp, your usual warning lights down the side, trip meter, gear shift indicator, ride modes. Now the ride modes are designated a little different on this bike. Uh, you got roll mode, which is pretty much your low power mode. Uh, you go to your rock mode, which is full power of the machine. And then uh, rain, which is uh, gonna basically really lighten up the power, heighten your traction control, ABS and everything. So really cool there. Uh, one thing I really like is when you hit the button, that animation of that boxer rolling backwards. Uh, looks really good. You can see here uh, the My Vehicle, that's gonna take you into something that looks very familiar on your other BMWs, just kind of onboard computer, tri trip computer, tire pressure monitors, uh, service and everything there. Access into your radio, pretty neat. Navigation, your media, phone <laughs> settings. Uh, we can get into all that stuff at another time. Really we want to just do an overview. As well as you can see this guy right here, that's going to be uh, when you turn your cruise control on, it comes to life. When you turn it off, it does go away. Uh, what you can see that is, is, is going to be adjusted off of this button right here, which will change what your, uh, your distance is for your cruise control. So uh, pretty neat feature there on that guy. Uh, really cool, works really simple, very easy. Uh, you get into your settings, you can see your seat heater, grip heater, uh, pretty much everything else that the bike has to offer. Um, over here, you do have central locking on this bike. Hit that, the bike locks up. Uh, really cool feature there. Down here, we got some other things to look at. We opened this bad boy uh, fuel gauge, which is neat. Uh, this though, you do have a phone holder pocket. Uh, it also has here, you can see a nice little fan here that's utilized to uh, keep your phone cool while it's in there. One thing to check while you're doing that is uh, really the, it, it, it holds your phone in there. Just keep an eye on size. If you have one of the bigger phones, uh, it is a tight fit. So that's something to kind of be mindful of. And that chrome, a little bit of fingerprints here. So taking a look through, as well this is one of the best features i think this bike has to offer uh marshall audio system which you're going to have your speakers up front and then going through you're going to have in the back these guys which to my knowledge would be 90 watt subs and then if we go to the front right here on these guys uh, you're going to be 
25 watt each speakers, uh, you're going to be a total output of 230 watts, which is, is just massive, especially in a bike like this. Really good sound quality. Uh, pretty awesome. Great looking bike. Come down, take a look for more, but uh, starting on this thing, really excited to have it down here in store.